Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and fix the door closer. Uh, this is a super common problem. Basically, you just have, when, when a lot of companies or contractors uh, mostly install a door closer, they just run the self-tapping screws in or they'll run a tap in and uh, just tap the little thin piece of aluminum. That sometimes holds, sometimes doesn't. If it's in a high traffic area where that wind can catch the door from the outside and really pull that thing open or you got a bazillion people you know, jerking on that door all day long, it's not gonna hold up in the long term. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that long term and use what's called a riv nut or a nut zert or a blind nut. There's a bunch of different names out there for it, but it's basically a little piece that crimps on to the hole. You enlarge the hole that's stripped out from quarter by 20, what would be tap two to three eighths inch normally with the ones that I use. And you insert this little riv nut in there and you use this Morrison tool and you clamp it down, boom, it clamps everything down and everything's all good to go. Uh, then it gives you like eight or nine threads instead of just one or two. And it's literally like having a nut and bolt. It's the strongest bond that you can possibly have short of having through bolts. The only thing stronger would be through bolts and you can use through bolts as an option if this option fails or if this just doesn't work out. You can have that as a plan C, but this is a great plan B and it works extremely well. Stay tuned and check it out. Hey, so today we've got a door closer with the screws straight out here. I'll try and get a better angle of that. There it goes right there. This is really, really common. Uh, the, you know, the wind or whatever gets whipped out and those things get ripped out and they only have, you can see there's only like one or two little threads stuck in there. And that tends to cause problems and have these things rip out on a really heavily used door. All right, so our solution to that is, number one, they only had one screw and this one's kind of jammed up anyway. So it's nice, I always keep, an extra set of through bolts and regular screws quarter by 20 screws and this one will require the pan head you don't want to use the tapered head on this one you want to use the pan head for a little bit more uh, and you can see the difference here for a little bit more uh, stability and grip you can see how that one's kind of tapered and that one's flat so we're going to grab another one we've got an identical screw right here and then we're going to use these nut zerts okay we're going to use a quarter by 20 nut zert very, very common. We could also do through bolts, um, but sometimes people don't like the way those look, sticking, adding extra hardware through the door. Through bolts are definitely a viable option, but I think we're gonna go with nut zerts today. And so we'll just set this nut zert up in there, quarter by 20 nut zert, and it basically adds all of these extra threads that go through, you can see right there, to the other side. So it's the closest thing to having a nut and bolt on there that you can possibly get. Every time I put these on, I mean, the door will literally start to bend or break before these things strip out. So they're a very, very, very good solution to this problem. All right, so I'm gonna show you how this thing works. This is the Morrison Rivnut Setter. This is a really good quality unit and I really use this thing all the time. They have aluminum and they have steel uh, nut zerts right here. So you can see there's an aluminum one and here's the steel one. I like the steel ones just a little bit better. So you literally just thread this thing on and it says quarter by 20, or quarter right there. This is quarter by 20, okay, right on the piece that goes in here. And then we'll loosen that up just a little bit and I'll show you what it does as an example right here. So if this is the hole that you're drilling out to, we'll drill it out to 3 8 okay? 3 8 inch drill bit, drills that hole out. So you're expanding the hole, you don't need to contract it. And then as you crimp this thing on here, or put this thing on here, this is what happens inside the door. Okay, see how it starts to crimp? And then, just where we finish it off, you can thread it in a little more if you think it needs a little more. Okay, very, very good. And then voila, this is the finished result. And this is what it looks like inside the door, okay? Now, instead of just having, you know, like one or two threads like we saw catching this bolt, now we're gonna have like five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, about eight threads that go in there. And the tighter you push this down, the tighter you crunch this down, the tighter it actually makes this bond. And the more it crushes it down and the less likely it is to pull out or strip out. The only time that I've had these pull out is when they were installed properly. Sometimes you'll get some that take a different size drill bit and sometimes you'll drill it sometimes you'll drill it out uh, a little bit bigger and, by accident and then they won't come out but if they're done properly man it is really hard to beat these things it's as close to a nut and a bolt bond as you can possibly get and literally those things don't come down until the building comes down so for more information check out the website below So this is what made this really possible and super easy. This is maybe a five, 10 minute job, a very high paying lucrative job. We can collect a service call, we can collect a repair and everything's ready to go because I have my drill bit right here, ready to go in the pack. We'll put it right in there and then we've got the tools and everything and all of our assortments ready to go. And we have a whole complete set of backup screws. Every time I install a door closer and I don't use all the hardware, it goes directly in here. All these plates, these little clips, these kind of screws, all this fun stuff goes in here. And then I have lots of options just in case we need it. If you need something even more heavy duty, the only heavier duty option, if your riv nuts don't work or they're not successful, um, you can do through bolts again. Uh, I really highly recommend not doing that uh, in some cases because there's a truss bar up here and you might run into that truss bar when you try and install these uh, through, through nuts through there and you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you focus on doing as little damage as possible, uh, making things as cosmetically clean as possible and adding as little hardware as possible. So these are our ultimate boo-boo backups. If the hole's not drilled right, if something goes wrong, with our Nutzert installation, this is our backup. But for right now, this turned out great. For more information, check out lockreference.com and make sure you get your Mor Morrison Rivnut Setter RN1. These things are a money maker and a life saver.